We're done hair drying at this stage, and this is the exciting part when you get to peel off the tape and see what has happened. So that's what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to take some of these tape areas and peel them off. See what they reveal. And while we're doing that, the next step will be pick a light source for our bamboo. So we can start putting in some shadows and different things that we like. Make it look more three-dimensional. I'm liking this already so far, this is really cool. That neat bamboo just happened in there. I love it. I mean, you could actually, you know, do this all day. You could just paint, layer, mask off, paint some more, layer some more, mask off. Oh, I'm just really loving this. This is too cool. Okay. So now I see my some different areas in my bamboo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the light is coming in from the top and going this way for the most part. So our shadow is going to pretty much be on this side of the bamboo. And so when we think about where we're going to put our shadows, that's what we're going to do. So next thing we're going to do is put some areas on. The bamboo usually has these little nodes that connect the different sections of the bamboo. So that's the next thing you really want to put in. And get a little bit of white on my small brush. Try to pick some of the colors that we're using. I kind of see a node kind of that formed here. So just go across like that. And this guy here is a big eye. I kind of see one here, but I want to make it a little bit different in area. Where do I see one? Maybe down in here. Here's some of my paints. Paint in that little node area. There's definitely one up in here. Some white in there too. A little highlight at the top. There's one here. And I see one down in here. Side guy, let me see where do I see one. Well, he can just be okay, doesn't he? Doesn't really need one. So I've got my bamboo forest kind of forming here, and I'm going to accentuate <clears throat> some of these areas that I think are kind of like shadowy. So there's a lot of shadows in the bamboo forest. There's a lot of light coming in and hitting different areas. I have a shadow coming up here on this bamboo. Putting in some things in here. And then I might even want to come in and maybe make it a little bit more monochromatic. Kind of shadow supposed to be on this side. Some light color on this side here. And when you're doing that, you know, you're gonna go over certain areas. What we're doing now is we're gonna we're trying to pop out what we have here with the bamboo as much as we can. So we get more of the action going on in the background and more fun stuff happening here with these bamboos. So if you want to, when you, when you do the um, the shadow part, what you do is you load up your brush with the color you're going to use, and then you just tip it with some dark, and I usually use some dark purple, and I'll come in and, you know, you just kind of lay that shadow in there real nice. Shadow right 
there. And what's nice is that this is an abstract kind of piece, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It just seems like more like two bamboos. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. He was supposed to be one big giant bamboo, but to me he just looks like two different bamboos. So we're just gonna go with that. And he just happens to have some light on this side instead of the other side, and we'll just have to we're just gonna go with that. But that's okay. I can add more texture. But I like what's going on in this area. This is really cool. Maybe I can even scrape some of this out. Where's my scraping or my lift off paper? do is I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to work on this some more, build some more, you know, the look of the bamboo, and then um, you know, we'll show you how to kind of finish it up. All right, now we are going to um, do some leaves and that kind of stuff. And what I did is I filled in a little bit more, you know, popping out the shapes of the bamboo, and now we're just going to focus on putting a few final touches on doing some of the leaves. So I'm going to pick out my nice round brush. It's got a nice point on it. Hopefully I'll get some good um, leaves and branches in there. And I've got, see, so I've got some here started, so I, mean, I really like that shape. So I'm going to continue it. And I'm going to use some titanium white because it has the best coverage for acrylic paint. And you can really put that in and then you layer on top of it to get the nice um, leaves and that kind of stuff. So just kind of come out and feel free to just go on over what you've done. Try to make a nice leaf strokes using that point of your brush. And I'm not going to put too much. I, I really like the painting the way it is, so I'm just going to put a few leaves in here. There's a couple back in there. And maybe some kind of leaf kind of happening from the top, I don't know. There's a little shadow there, that's why I put that one in there. And maybe I've got a little bit of leaves happening in here. So a little bit of a shadow there. But I don't want, like I said, I don't want to do too much. I really want to let the, these bamboo just kind of stand on their own. So now, that I've done that, I can come back in. I'm going to fix this one up first. I don't want it to be too white. And I'm going to add some green. I've got this nice lime green that I really like. Start with that and see where that goes. And of course, that white is still wet, so you're going to still be able to move it around and play with it a little bit. Seems like one more leaf coming out there. We'll start with this. And then we're going to go to this other green, darker green. Just really love all the colors in this painting. You can just play with this forever and ever. Just keep going and going and going. I'm 
bamboo is kind of, the leaves are kind of wispy like that. So nice to get a little bit of texture in there. What that white does is it kind of covers up what's underneath and allows you to just put the, the bamboo leaves in there. So I like that nice contrast of colors. And just a few more leaves in the background here and there. I've got even some purple leaves that are already there. coverage. Maybe a little bit of yellow in some of these leaves. Like I said, I really just love color and just playing with color to see what you can achieve. It's always good to cheer you up on a either a cold day or a cloudy day. You do a lot of colorful stuff. Now I'm just kind of putting on some final touches here. And pretty much call this one done. I don't want to do too much. Sometimes I overwork the painting and I think this is you know good where it's at. I might go back and fix a few things up and check the edges again. But I think this is pretty much um, a done painting. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and I hope you get a chance to have some fun like this and just do some crazy abstract bamboo painting. You can't go wrong. You just make some bamboo shapes and have fun with it.